Welcome back to Frozen City Cation. This is that. Today I'm going to be giving a quick DD on S O L O Solo. Uh, this company creates EVs, but not in a more typical way. It's more of the smaller EV type of vehicles. I'll go on their website in a little bit. Uh, now, this stock has rallied quite a bit in the last uh, day, in the last trading session. I'm going to go first quickly through technical analysis, then I'm going to go check for new news later on in the company and anything that really stands out for me. So, first things first we can get to see the one month one day that the stock has high momentum so that's a little bit on a high level where it has seen before a bit of a drop afterwards uh in terms of the macd it looks like it has rallied quite a bit above the macd and that might not be a little bit too sustainable but we'll have to check in the, into the hourly period in order to decide a little bit further into where this moves average directional index is a little bit too high i prefer it to be below 50 below 45 is my sweet spot uh somewhere between 30 and 45 is the best thing for me 10 SMA is above the 30 MA, which is good news. The stock is above their 200 SMA and their 50 SMA, which means that they're in a bull run. In terms of supports and resistances, there's not current any resistance from the one day point of view. So we need to take a quick look into the one hour as the stock has dipped up quite a bit from uh, their highs. Going into the five days, one hour period, we get to look at a bit of the movement that has happened during the day and you can get to see the macd has declined and that could be a little bit dangerous where uh it might actually turn towards a negative aspect and to break that rally into a bearish one going into average directional index you can get to see it's still up to up high for the one hour period you get to see the million percent r here is a little bit towards overbought section so that might be another red flag for me 10 sma is still above the 30 may which is good uh the stock is getting into the trading action zone which reversals are very likely at in terms of volumes it has seen a massive amount of uh, volume in the last day so that's as well as a good news for for me although you want to make sure that this volume actually keeps picking up so that might be a little bit too difficult for the stock at a high level like this going towards uh, the moving averages we get to see that the stock is way above the moving average so that might be a little bit dangerous but from the expectation is that this moving average top should at least meet somewhere around 2.5 or so in the next day or so but at a volume at this large it hasn't even seen it in quite a bit um let's compare the last volume so it has almost almost tripled the volume that i've seen last time in a spike so that might be a little bit too high for me now going towards a little bit into the rsi you can get to see that it's getting above the red mark where you do usually want to sell at that point and it has seen it before here where it dipped back but that was just a little bit of a bull flag before i run so in terms of different uh actual movements here that I, in terms of patterns and whatnot i don't see much in terms of the stock now yes i do see a double bottom here uh an upside down an inverted uh up this could, perhaps could be uh arm heads and shoulder but not a lot that i'm seeing in this point of view uh and if it was for me for instance i would definitely be considering selling at this point especially since i don't see much supports in this level our resistances well there is a support happening at 311 but in terms of resistance uh perhaps around 344 would be your resistance but not a lot much more further than that in terms of that point i know some companies have compared uh some news outlets have compared this to like the teslas and whatnot but it's a little bit of a different market uh in my point of view so it's perhaps not going to be the most next tesla but it's more a little bit off some kind of um a little bit low budget kind of car it's more of a enclosed bike in my opinion so their competitors would definitely not be tesla but would be in more of the electrical bike uh realm of use now in terms of news there's not a lot of latest news so what i would consider this this could be actually more of a pump and dump situation happening at this point so you want to be very careful on that and you want to check a little bit in terms of news now i've seen some news about something about deliveries and whatnot but nothing popped into my radar and when i tried to find it down i couldn't find it anymore and the last main news was on the 23rd now there was one on the second but uh there was that's not actually from the company it's actually from investor place it's nothing came out of there uh other than basically the last time on the 22nd so it could be for instance here let's see what happened on the 22nd there's not much happened on the 22nd but a quick jump quickly after that article but i don't expect this to continue so what would i do if i was you i would consider selling at this point if you are green uh and definitely put stop limits if you're still in this stock and why i say a stop limits instead of stop order if this tanks perhaps you want to make sure that you're guaranteed at least a price to your limit and not whatever price it is at that's my kind of preference of choice but let me know what you think about the stock make sure you mention down in the comments below share subscribe and like and have a wonderful day